This is the GAC Weekly presented by the Great American Conference. I'm Joey McWilliams. As the GAC tournament run in Bartlesville comes to a close, many memories have been made during the last eight years and more memories made in 2019. A repeat performance for the tournament championship and a bookending performance as well. To the men's side of the tournament bracket where Southern Nazarene repeated as conference tournament champions, defeating Southeastern Oklahoma State in the championship game on Sunday. Southern Nazarene escaped a quarterfinal match with Washita, 75-72 in overtime, a semifinal win over Henderson State, 84-64, and then holding on for the victory over Southeastern, 80-77. Both Southern Nazarene and Southeastern will advance to the NCAA tournament. Southern Nazarene with the automatic bid, getting the number five seed in the tournament, taking on St. Cloud State. That will be an 8.30 p.m. tip time on Saturday from Maryville, Missouri, as Northwest Missouri is the host of the NCAA Central Regional. Southeastern, meanwhile, makes it back to the tournament for the first time since 2007 and will take on the number two seed, the defending national runner-up, Northern State. Seven seed versus two seed, that is a 2.30 tip time Saturday, March 16th, and that also will be in Maryville, Missouri. I talked about a bookending performance. How about this? Southwestern's women won the first ever GAC tournament in Bartlesville. They win the last GAC tournament in Bartlesville. Got one in the middle along the way. And the Lady Dogs now have three GAC postseason tournament championships to their credentials. As Southwestern's women were able to move through the tournament like this, getting a victory over rival Northwestern 78-73 in the quarterfinals, and then defeated each of the previous two tournament champions, Harding in the semifinals 70-42, and then against a very feisty Arkansas Tech team 87-66, the Golden Suns went through three overtimes in two games just to get to the championship game, but Southwestern ultimately comes out on top. After losing the first game of the season, the Southwestern women have won 30 consecutive games and own a 30-1 record, as does Fort Hayes State. Fort Hayes State gets the number one seed in the NCAA Division II Central Region and will host the Central Regional Tournament, Southwestern, the number two seed, taking on Emporia State. And this is big because Emporia State is the only team to have beaten Southwestern this year. That's right. The season opener, Southwestern fell to the Hornets, and we will see what happens as the Central Regional Tournament gets ready to take place on Friday. Southwestern, the number two seed. Emporia State, the number seven seed. We had an opportunity to visit with the tournament MVP for Southwestern, Bethany Franks, on the GAC tournament this year. Bethany, quite a weekend. You averaged 12.7 points per game, 8.7 rebounds, 4.7 steals. Just a fantastic effort all the way around. Talk about your effort to help Southwestern bring home that championship. Right. Coach Music had just really stressed all week just doing your part and doing whatever it takes to, you know, get a win. And every night that was something different, honestly, for the starting five. It just scoring, rebounds, whatever it took. And I kind of just honed in on that and did my part. I felt like whatever they needed me to do is what I did each game. And we were pretty successful with doing that. <laughs> well, no doubt about that. You came away with three wins and a tournament championship. You got to bookend Bartlesville with that as you won, as Southwestern won the first ever GAC tournament in Bartlesville, and you won the final one in Bartlesville as well. You know, along the way, you take on your rival in Northwestern and then the two mm-hmm. previous champions in Harding and Arkansas Tech. Talk about facing those opponents. Um, with that Northwestern game, that was just really exciting just because, like you said, that is a rival. Um, we didn't play exactly how we wanted to play, but just in a game like that, she just kept saying, you know, just come out with a win. It, it wasn't pretty, but, you know, <laughs> come out with a win. She kept saying that. Um, then with the, with the Harding game, that was just just really bringing energy is what she honed in on and kept saying just, I need energy, I need energy for this game. And I think everyone can agree, crowd and just fans and even our bench that that game was energy packed everyone was into it it was just really exciting um and we got to come away with a pretty big win in that game and then same thing with tech she just kept saying you know try to up that energy just from yesterday just keep 
just keep coming with energy. Don't get tired. You know, they'll get tired. And so we just made sure that we had a high level of energy from the start of the game to the end of the game and just getting everyone involved. And I think that's what really made all the games really exciting was just the energy that we brought. Speaking now with Bethany Franks, the GAC Tournament MVP, a sophomore from Norman, Oklahoma. By the way, your Norman Tigers also came away with the state championship this past they week, did. too. <laughs> so uh, congratulations to your alma mater. You know, I, I know we move into, you know, back into college basketball now. What a season, 30 and 1 and 30 consecutive wins. How does something like that feel? Um, I kept telling Coach, I was like, you know, it doesn't really seem like we've even played that many games. And she's like, yeah, I know. After Christmas, it kind of just flies by. But that's honestly crazy just to think about just the amount of wins. I've never been a part of something this special. So it's really just a cool thing to look back on and hopefully continue. Well, you have that opportunity. It's coming up this weekend, the Division II Central Region Tournament, the NCAA Tournament is going to take place in Hayes, Kansas, and you face a familiar opponent, no doubt. Uh, this, if, it, if you had known in advance you were going to face Emporia State, this game would be circled on the schedule, right? Right. <laughs> big talk, circle, big <laughs> highlight, everything. <laughs> uh, talk about getting an opportunity then to face the only team that has put one in the L column for you this year. Right. As soon as we found out on our way back home, we just kept saying, you know, revenge season. And that's really what's on our mind right now is just revenge and beating that one team that has beat us. It's going to be a really big game for us. Lots of excitement, lots of energy again. Um, we're just really excited to prove that, you know, we can beat that team and we can beat them. All right. Southwestern taking on Emporia State in the first round of the Division II Central Region Women's Basketball Tournament this weekend. Southwestern earning the number two seed uh, at 30 and 1. Bethany Franks, congratulations on the season and thank you for taking time with us today. Thank you so much. This has been the GAC Weekly. The GAC Weekly is presented by the Great American Conference. To hear and see this and more about the GAC and other college and high school sports, please visit OklahomaSports.net and arkansasports.net.